or you got land you, or you landed this big contract and you tell this person the person that the person will say you you are already coming with excitement and the person is saying things like ah ah what is it now it's not that big of a deal hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Efi or Efi Ogene if you can pronounce it it's quite a long name hmm? I'm from Delta State in Nigeria or you can call just call it Efi for short that's my name or you can just call me Ruth if you want that's my Christian name so guys today we are going to be talking on a topic guys have been wanting to talk about because I'm someone that likes to talk obviously I couldn't do that on my food channel but that's just a food exclusively a food channel this is a channel where I can talk and air my views so the topic that we're going to be talking about today is how do you know when someone does not want you to succeed be it a friend be it someone close to you doesn't matter who it, what, who it is someone that you love someone that is close to you someone that you think you have in your corner but how do you know what are the signs to look out for to know if someone does not want you to succeed as in they don't want you to move past where you are so you know me i always have notes these are my notes i always have notes because i don't want to be talking out of points i'm doing it point by point a person who does not want you to succeed will always be negative when you're excited about your success okay you just had this success maybe you have had a promotion at work or you got land you or you landed this big contract and you tell this person the person that the person will say you you are already coming with excitement and the person is saying things like ah ah what is it now it's not that big of a deal take it slowly it's not that deep why are you taking it so seriously why are you working so hard you might not even be you know i don't think this is the right thing you should be doing maybe something you've been toiling for fighting for working hard for praying for fasting speaking in tongues eh? sleepless night praying and then finally you achieve your goal and the first person that you can share it with is already putting discouragement saying negative things ah no that's someone that doesn't want you to succeed because someone that wants you to succeed will encourage us oh well done oh, that's amazing well thank god oh thank god for you and genuinely mean it from their hearts hmm? that's one way of knowing someone that doesn't want you to succeed no matter how they pretend like they do they don't the second way of knowing the signs to look out for when you know someone doesn't want you to succeed is that they will most likely talk behind your back and belittle your success they will belittle you every chance you get hmm? so you're doing very well in something for example you're a very good doctor and everyone is applauding you oh this is very hard working doctor or you're a nurse or you're a content creator maybe you're on youtube or you're a content creator or whatever career you are in either self-employed or employed by a company they will always be little leads they'll say ah what is there what is you know it's nothing you didn't do that well you could have done better <laughs> they'll always say something to make you to put you down or they'll make some jokes that they'll be laughing on, but they meant it they'll look for every opportunity to put you down not just when you're with them even when you're in public they'll belittle you hmm? maybe you're meeting up at a restaurant with a group of other friends but that person that doesn't want you to succeed because of the bitterness and the anger and the jealousy hmm? you say something like maybe you've gone you've done your hair done your lash done your nails you say something like eh, what kind of dress is this why did you choose this dress does it suit your shape hmm? as if that's not enough then they'll move to your hair you make your hair blonde it doesn't suit you you should have just gone with black or your makeup you say ah 
The makeup is too much. Why did you put this much makeup? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Oh, your shoe is too high. Why are you wearing this kind of shoe? Eh? Are you climbing a mountain? Or your or your nails? Ah, this kind of shape of nails is terrible. They will say they will shout, look for something negative to say, and they will put you down in front of other people. That will embarrass you. That will make people even laugh because of what they've said, because of the way they said it, and they said that one with from their hearts, but they will pretend like. Is a joke so nothing that you do is ever good enough for this person they will always look for something negative to say they will always put you down they'll belittle you you know they'll belittle you they'll make you feel like you're nothing such a such person if you call that person your friend you better think twice because that person is not your friend I'm sorry you don't have a friend if that's your only friend you don't have those are the kind of people that you don't tell anything good that's happening in your life you keep it to yourself you don't tell them let them hear and if they come and say ah so 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 this happened to you but you didn't tell me you didn't tell me about your promotion you didn't tell me about this contract that you landed or you didn't tell me um, that you you know pass your exams with the first class or two or two one you can just say oh sorry it just slipped my mind yeah because if someone is being negative around you why will you share your success with them why you know have you seen how crowds behave when you put them in a bucket watch and see how crabs behave you put crabs in a bucket as one is trying to climb up another one will pull that one down that's how these kind of people behave. They are full of jealousy, bitterness. It's just the energy around them is just bad. So when you have someone like that, please keep your success to yourself. Don't share. Sometimes they say sharing is caring. But this one, in this case, sharing is putting yourself in danger because you have become their enemy. They will, they will use you as enemy. You have become their enemy. They will never say anything good about you because of that success that you've achieved. So please be careful and please be mindful of such people if you have them in our lives. We all have one or two of those people in our lives. Let's be real. This is real talk. So over to the next sign to look for when you know someone doesn't want you to succeed. They will always discourage you from reaching your goals and going higher in life so we even boldly tell you that you're not good enough to try and achieve higher because they feel you will not be successful what nerve maybe you've been working in an office maybe just being like a clerk or a receptionist hmm? and then you want to maybe go higher you want to do professional exams maybe to be like a PA, personal assistant to a CEO. You know, that's a, that's a high achievement. Hmm? And you come and tell them, maybe you've been doing your exams, just waiting for your result, or just that's something that you've decided you want to do because everyone wants to better their life. No one wants to stay in the same spots. And you tell them, hmm? they are doing good jobs. They have a good career, but they are more, they are, but they are comfortable seeing you in that career that is lower than theirs and they're comfortable because they want to be always higher and they want you always be lower so that they'll be looking down at you but when you try to at attain to something better than where you are you come out some people come out and say ah no you won't do well in this too it's better that you you remain a clerk you'll be it's better you you'll be a, a receptionist you're thinking in your in your head is this person saying and if you're not strong in your spirit if you don't have a bold bold spirit you know you will believe what they said and then before you know it that statement they made has discouraged you and you don't want to go further anymore you'll be comfortable staying where you are because you'll be hearing those words ringing in your ear 
stay where you are. So we will tell you, ah, ah, do you know your age? You want to go and do something? Just stay where you are. Hmm? Or maybe there are some people that have never been to school. Maybe they stopped in secondary school. Or, you know, and they want to go to university. They want to do a degree. You know, now they have online degrees that you can do online. They will say, hey, leave that for your children. Don't do it. Where is the which brain do you have? They will come out, they'll come out and tell you that safe. Without thinking that that might hurt your feelings. They don't want you to advance in life. They want you to remain where you are. Hmm? So when someone is always saying negative things to you, anytime you want to go higher, they will make you, they will try and convince you that where you are is okay. Mm. My dear brothers and sisters, when you have such a person in your life, please borrow trainers. Borrow trainers. Borrow bata. Salu bata. Shoe. Anything. Or if you don't have trainers, go with your barefoot. Run as fast as you can from that person. Run. Because that person is not in your corner. The person does not wish you well. No. Someone that wishes you well, we want you to go up higher. We want you to be better. They will, they will support you with your dreams, goals, and aspirations. That's how you know someone who wants you to succeed. So moving to the next. Another sign to know that someone does not want you to succeed. They are always happy to point out your failures. But let's face it, everyone has experienced failure at some point in life before finally achieving success. Success doesn't come just like that. Sometimes before you have success, you have to fail many times and, you know, pick yourself up, try again, and then you, then you succeed. But people who don't want you to succeed, they will be always be quick to point out your failures. Anytime you fail, they'll say, ah, see, you failed now. You failed. And remember that time that you failed, when you tried this, you failed. You, you, you don't want to be hearing that. You don't want to be hearing that ringing in your ears. You don't want someone to always be reminding you of your failures. As if they haven't failed. Everyone has got failures. Eh? If a friend who is always excited to point out your mistakes <laughs> and making them seem like they don't have one, they don't have mistakes in their life, who's perfect? Who has ever made it? All those people that you see who are doing well in life. If they tell you their stories, you'll marvel. So when you see friends, when you have someone like that in your life, who is always ready to point out your failures, who is always putting you down, who is always backbiting, who is always hating, who is always talking bad about you behind your back, who never encourages you, instead they'll be criticizing you. All they have for you is just to criticize. Those are the, some of the signs that you know that someone does not want you to succeed. Next time, I'm going to be talking about on another. We're going to be talking on another topic. So, guys, I want to read your comments. Please leave your comments so on this topic that I've talked about today. I want to hear your comments. I'll be excited to read them, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Take care.